Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. As promised, catching up on Carolyn and all of her antics, as promised. And, and I know, I know, Carolyn, I've been neglecting you. I have. I'm so sorry, dear. But uh, your antics are mm, exquisite. Oh, somebody texted me. Somebody loves me. Yeah, <laughs> the world is so small. Get texts from all over the world now. It's. Uh, it's cute. But anyway, getting back to Carolyn, won't let my uh, text, I'll, I'll let that wait. I'll get back to that after the video. So <laughs> the big news for Carolyn is, uh, well, a couple of big news. Uh, she's off Twitter or X as we call it. I still call it Twitter because I'm old school, but she's off Twitter because she can't take the heat. So she got out of the kitchen and trust me, I've seen her kitchen and you have too. You wouldn't want to be in her kitchen. <laughs> She blocked me from Twitter years ago. I've never tweeted uh, her uh, directly or anything like that, but she, she blocked me thinking that I couldn't see her tweets. Boy, it's kind of like her, her fail with, <laughs> with her trademark, thinking that if she, she had a trademark of her name, people couldn't mention her name and she could sue everybody that did. <laughs> Don't work that way, Carolyn. Same with Twitter. You can't block people and then think that, oh, they can't see your tweets. Uh, it don't work that way. But obviously, she has got Trump derangement syndrome uh, in a very horrible capacity. Her mental health has been deteriorating. If you look at her looks, I should do a video on how her looks have progressed. When she started eight years ago, she looked, she was mid to late 40s. She looked a little younger than her years. Not anymore. In eight years, she's aged 20 years, and now she looks older than her years. It's very tragic, very, very tragic. Doesn't have to be that way. And of course, she's always angry and auditing me because she doesn't like the male-dominated patriarchy, and I live a better lifestyle than her without relying on others, and it drives her bonkers. And she's off Twitter. Oh boy, are we gonna, is Twitter gonna ever be the same? No, it'll probably be better. And of course she's off Twitter because Elon Musk is pro-Trump. Yay. And I, I've made a lot of money off of old uh, Elon. I bought, full disclosure, bought Tesla at literally $100 a share and wrote it up to 230, 220, 230. And then I shorted it down. You guys remember when I was in Gibraltar and I closed a short position. So I, I made it going up, made it going down. And of course, it drives her bonkers. And it's gonna actually drive her bonkers about my upcoming trip. And what I have decided to do, I'm going to bring a Carolyn's RV Life proxy. I'm gonna go to Walmart and get a little doll that represents Carolyn. And I'm gonna bring her along as a proxy so that I have someone to, 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 to you know, buzz in my ear about the male dominated patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> something I can tuck in my luggage and bring her along and, and show her what it's like to be part of the male dominated patriarchy. Now she hasn't, you know, as a liberal socialist that she is, she hasn't figured out if the male dominated patriarchy is in fact the team that you want to be with, she could do gender reassignment. All the liberals know about that and she knows about that. So why didn't she just change teams? Might be good. She's kind of halfway there already. <laughs> oh, we got some we got some hot rodders out there. Sorry about the noise, guys. But yeah, so she's off Twitter, X. And the reason she's probably off X is because she's getting a lot of pushback. I'm going to give you a great example here, and I want you to comment in the comment section. I'm going to pull it up, and I'm going to actually read it to you right here. I'll put it up on the screen, but I will read it right now. Quote, this is from early August. I took this screenshot from when she was on Twitter. <clears throat> oh, you're going to love this one. It's, it, it's, it dives into her mentality. Quote from Carolyn Rose from formerly on Twitter or X. Quote, it's worth reminding everyone that the only reason we have women's sports is because men are too insecure to allow women to compete with them. Oh boy, oh boy. We're too insecure. This is obviously a reference to the Olympics in Paris. And uh, actually I did get some uh, texts from Paris in the last few weeks from a, from a dear friend. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, you know who you are. <laughs> I'll actually be seeing you uh, soon, whoever you are. Whoever you are that you know that I am talking to you right here in the video that you'll be watching. So um, anyway, that 
tweet that she made about men being insecure and that's why they don't allow women to compete against against them. Come on, come on, come on. You guys, you guys, you you audience members are way smarter than me. You put your comments down below on the obvious, obvious smoking elephant in the corner why we don't allow women in the same weight class, age class to compete against men. Uh, we're biologically stronger. <laughs> We allow women to compete at Jeopardy. It's just knowledge-based. You you could be 100 pounds soaking wet and you can win in Jeopardy. Yes, you can. But you can't win at a deadlifting competition or at the 100 meter dash unless you got the chops. <laughs> and the fastest are typically men. I'm not saying that there aren't women that can compete quite well. I mean, the strongest woman will obviously beat a very mediocre man, especially at the professional level. But at the professional level, you you know, we, we can't have the women compete against the men because they'd never win and we would humiliate them because we're stronger. It's biology, biology. Liberals don't understand biology because how many genders do they say they have? I can't keep up, it's dozens, dozens of genders. I always thought there was like two, but I'm old school conservative, so. I just use common sense, and it's about the same reason we don't allow adults to compete against children in professional sports, because it wouldn't be fair. So Carolyn, I know you're auditing this, <laughs> and you're very upset at me speaking truth. I'm not speaking truth to power, because you got no power, because I've taken your power away by speaking truth. See what I did there? <laughs> but my audience is very smart, they're very astute, they're very conservative, and they understand that this tweet is nonsense. So you dissect and put something funny, something interesting on why she would tweet something so stupid that women's sports is because men are too insecure to allow them to compete. Oh, really? Oh, really, Carolyn? Oh, 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 oh boy, you sure told us something there. And I'm sure, you know, tweets like that get so much pushback on her on her feed that she just can't take it anymore. So apparently she's on threads, but I tried looking for her the other day, I couldn't find her. Oh, but she should actually try, here's a hint, Carolyn, try Truth Social, I, uh, full disclosure again, I was actually a shareholder, very briefly, for uh, Donald J. Trump, DJT is the ticker symbol. I, yes, yes, I, I was, I'm not, I'm not a shareholder anymore, but yes, I was. So. Carolyn, go on Truth Social, start at Carolyn's RV Life, and, and start spewing your ideas that you love to spew. And I'm a free speech advocate, so you, you can spew what you want, but you're opening yourself up for people who are rational and sensible to critique that. She doesn't like to critique. But here's the funny thing is, Carolyn is all about the diversity, equity, and inclusion. Great, but how come there's no inclusion and <laughs> equity for conservatives. The libs all love all the diversity of opinion, except when they disagree with them. That is the Achilles heel of Carolyn. And things are getting harder and they're about to get even much harder for now because she's left the free mooch docking site, living for free and showering daily with her mom in upstate New York. She'll be back to bragging about using less than a cup of water to bathe every day and her hair will look crazy like she's a homeless cat lady that has no children. Oh wait, she doesn't have any children. She does have a dog though, no cats, but oh, the cats will come. The cats will come. I have confidence in Caroline. Always so much confidence. And she's gonna lose her mind when I bring my little voodoo proxy of Carolyn, the little figurine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one that just looks like her. If you got any suggestions that I can pick up at Walmart, I'm gonna bring her along. And I'm gonna show how the male dominated patriarchy is doing great. And the $9,000 one-way flight, thank you Air Canada for ratifying your new agreement. They gave him 42%, just a video the other day. They ratified it at the last minute, 42% increase in wages, uh, retro pay for a year, and I think there's like an 84 hour signing bonus if the contract is ratified, which means I am doing my $9,000 first class flight off the continent. And why? Because I'm the male dominated patriarchy and Carolyn should be able to do that too. But oh no, she won't get a J-O-B 
and her income keeps dropping and I keep suggesting just get a job Carolyn just get even one of those lib jobs in California IA why not why not but she won't do it because if she actually knuckles under and does as I've suggested and hundreds of you have suggested to and thousands of you have been blocked because you've suggested common sense things here you would actually turn out to be correct just like I would be correct in her mind and she doesn't want us to be ever correct so she will keep riding that down to misery and poverty and she just won't help herself because she doesn't want me to be correct and she doesn't want you to be correct that she actually needs to get a job get on with her life start kicking into Social Security preparing for her golden years which are nearly upon her so um, hey I hate speaking truth but sometimes you just gotta so that's my update on Carolyn's RV life and her um, exodus from X and Twitter yeah, so predictable. Anyway, put your comments down below. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.